Hello, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. It is so good to see all of y'all. Listen, we got some crazy weather jumping off here where I live. Well, not right now. It's partly sunny. It's confusing. Um, but we had like now it's 55 degrees. We got a lot of we got a flood watch. We got tornado stuff jumping off. We got a lot of stuff going on out here in, in this here Ohio. Um, right now the sun is out. Hold on one second. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. My husband was calling me and telling me some funny stuff. So that's good. It's always nice to hear some funny stuff from the hubbins. Um, all right, but hello everybody. Welcome in. Welcome to Kelly's Crochet Adventures. Listen. I'm so happy y'all here. Don't mind them. That's the Royal Court. They got to say it all. I got Teddy Raven and Gizmo over here. They three little Havanese. They be out here doing all the things. They're watchdogs. So they watch everything and they bark at everything that they watch. They're like, what is that? I mean, that, that's what they do. That's what they do. But we out here, we're going to get jiggy with it. We got work to do. Come and craft along if you'd like to. Let's see what we got going on. I want to just greet everybody tonight. Let's go ahead and do that. Hello, Victoria Gibb. One of the Wonder Twins, welcome in. Welcome, Lord's Block Ministries. Welcome in. The other part of the uh, Wonder Twins, so these two are Wonder Twins, Victoria Kidd and Lord's Block Ministries. Yes, they are. Cammy, what's happening? How you doing? Welcome in. Good to see you. We got Janet is here. Hello, Janet. Welcome in. Good to see you. We got Sandra Atkinson, honey. Welcome in. So good to see you. That Darla girl, honey, how are you? I hope all is well with you. Hope everything has been going well with you. You've been on my mind and on my heart. So I'm praying you are well and all the things are going great with you. All right. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you. We got uh, hello, Sheila across the honey. Welcome in. Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate you all. And that is Focho. Hello, Dozer Gets Crafted. Dozer Gets Crafted. Welcome in. Good to see you. And we got Margaret Oaday. Hello, Margaret Oaday. Welcome in. It is so good to see you. Thank y'all so much for coming in. We got Gail Kearney here. Hello, Gail. Welcome in. Always a pleasure to see you as well. I pray y'all are doing great tonight. I pray everything is amazing. You see what you got going on. You said, hey, tonight, tomorrow night and Thursday night is going to be in the 30s uh, overnight where I live. Brr. Oh, it's just going to be cold. Girl, I'll take the cold over these storms and not knowing if it's a, a tornado going to wake you up in the middle of the night or, you know, flash flood warnings and water, you know, all the water. Yeah. Understand what I mean? Yeah. Hello, Miss Dale Marie. Welcome in. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Michelle Morgan. Hello. Welcome in. Good to see you. And we got Sheila Crossland, honey, welcome in. The front door is open. Feel free to hit the thumbs up. I appreciate you. You said driving up in your driveway, please open the front door. Brought some water for us to drink. Okay, well, let's go. I'm here for it. All right, guys, family, listen, I'm so happy you all are here. Thanks so much for being here. It just does my heart good. I was like, I didn't know if I was going to be able to come on or not because I didn't know if the weather was going to be weathering and I was going to have to, you know, do all the things. Huh? So, um, yeah. So right now the sun is out. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Um, I left work early because it was, it was going to be a bad day. We supposed to be getting hail and wind and thunderstorms and, and, uh, what I miss it? Uh, uh, thunderstorms, lightning, all that, all the things. Yeah. So I was like, I should go home early. Mm -hmm. My dogs is probably losing it. Wish they were. Okay. My, my dogs, they be like, it's, it's, it's raining us Raven and Gizmo Teddy. He don't care. Teddy be like, you know what? This is good sleeping with it. The girls be like, I got to save my life. It's I saved my life. And they, they just cannot stand the rain. I don't, I don't rave Gizmo hides under the couch and Raven be shaking. So it'd be something I'd be feeling for them. They little bless their little hearts. I love them little dogs, but good gracious. Yeah, it's crazy out here. Gail, what you talking? You said on the 9th, I'll be in Ohio again visiting my daughter. Oh, cool beans. That is so cool. Yes, well, be safe for sure. You said that's great. Oh, okay. You said I'm doing well, love. I've got my feet up. I've It's been raining all day in London. Wow, so lots of cozy vibes. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. 
You said, I have a testimony about my cousin. He had cancer and apparently he was near death's door. There was many churches praying for him. And right now he is cancer free. Praise the Lord. Well, praise the most high. Listen, let's go. Praise the most high God. Praise the most high. Yeah. I love to hear it. Love to see it. Yes. That is so good, Sandra. I love it. Yes. Praise the most high God. Hallelujah. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Absolutely. Kemi said Emma is bi- is a big silly butt. But you know, all the little, little people be big silly butts. They just be doing silly stuff, child. I-, I love them though. I love the little people. They be out here doing all the things. Isn't that a blessing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You said hallelujah. This is new, Sandra. Praise God. Yeah. I love it. Glad to hear it, Margaret. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Oh, Sandra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said, ah, yes, she is, Cammy. So sweet. Yeah, little people, <laughs> they they adorable. They be doing silly stuff. I'll be cracking up sometimes. I'll be like, I'm gonna need you to do you know. <laughs> I got little, little grand great nieces, and they they little something else. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is great news, Sandra. Praise God. Yeah, amen. Cammy, yeah. Mm-hmm. You said thanks. Uh, thank you, Kelly, uh, Gail, Margaret. Yeah, 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 for sure. You said my mom got a puppy recently. <gasps> oh, you she got a King Charles Cal- Cavalier. Am I saying it right? Cavalier. I know those cute little dogs. Oh, they're so adorable. They got the little big eyes and the big ears. Mm-hmm. The ears be big and they little and but they they smart. I love them. Mm-hmm. Yes, I love I love those type of dogs. I'm telling you what, let me put some lotion on. I'm gonna put some lotion on and I'm gonna go ahead and sing. Let's sing a little bit because I'm just happy about that for um to hear that testimony from Sandra. And um what's my dogs doing all the all they just rolling over on the floor? Don't mind them. Oh Gizmo and uh Gizmo and Raven are they must be feeling better because they up here chasing each other. So praise the Lord. Oh, and Teddy. Oh, they're all about it. <laughs> they are all out here all about the things. Yes, yeah, so I'm putting some lotion on. So let's see. Come on in the room. Y'all ready? Oh, that's Gizmo making a fuss Ooh, and playing. All right. So she's trying to play with her parents. All right. But I'm going to sing that song anyway. Let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all ready? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, she's making me laugh. I'm sorry. She run it back and forth messing with these girls. <laughs> what you doing? Oh, now she running around like a little crazy animal. All right. Hey there, Dozer. How's it going? Dozer get crafted. Welcome in. All right, let's go ahead and sing. Y'all ready? Here we go. Come on in the room. Uh-huh. Come on in the room. Hey, hey, Jesus is my doctor. He writes out all of my scriptures, gives me all of my medicine in the room. <laughs> Come on in the room. All right, I'm going to show y'all something I got in the mail. I have got to show y'all something here. Um, always fun. Always, always having a good time, but I got to show y'all this, what I did get. I got a book and I want to show it to y'all. Um, my hands will be a little greasy. Let me, cause this, this lotion is, I, I'll put on, listen, I'll put it everywhere. <laughs> I'll put it everywhere. Yes, I will. We'll put it everywhere. Okay. I'm going to show you this book, but let me go ahead and see what y'all say in the chat that I missed. Um, you said my husband calls that breed Titanic dog. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they are such cute dogs, darling. Yes, they are absolutely adorable. Hello again, there, uh, dogs are gets crafty. Yeah, hello, hello, hello. You said I also had a uh, gizmo puppy years ago. He was a Japanese chin, great little dog. Oh, that sounds so cute. Yeah, gizmo, she's something else, child. Feel free to thumbs up, everybody. Feel free to share, share, share. We're just going to have a good old time tonight. We are going to get jiggy with it. We, But before we do, I wanted to show you this book that I got. Um, I got this book because I have been interested in doing 
roses and doing them perfectly now. Not perfect, perfectly, but to make them look as real as possible. So what I did was I got this book and I want to show you. It's called The Art of Crochet Roses. Look at how amazing this is. Can you see? Don't those look absolutely amazing? You see that? Aren't those nice? That is how beautifully crocheted the leaves are, the flowers, how they are just perfect. I love it. So I got this book. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Come on. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. I want to know how to crochet flowers that look so real. Why? Because my mama, my mama, she's not a crocheter. She can't take care of flowers really well. And I want to make her some flowers. I give her flowers, but then, then it'd be like, ha, huh, where'd the flowers go? If she has a garden, child, I would have to take care of it. The flowers she got now, I got to go check on them, those uh, jokers, <laughs> right? If she gets flowers for, for this spring, I got to go check on them. Why? Because my mom does not have a green thumb. So it just is what it is. Everybody's thumbs ain't green. It is what it is, right? And so I have to, but if I can make her something that will last, that will last, tell me those did not look real. Yes, they did look real. Amen. Yes, they did. You said, I love our group. Come on in the room, folks. Yes, feel free. Hey, Brunel, welcome in. Good to see you, buddy. Hello. Yes, everybody said hello. You said, wow, those roses look real. Yes, absolutely. So that's what I'm talking about. So you feel me? So that's why I got that book. I was like, listen, we got to make some real rose roses that look real. I want to be able to bless somebody with roses that look real, that will sustain that great look, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I don't do a lot of flowers or anything like that. I'm going to take my time with it. I want them to make them beautiful and I want to give them to my mama. Now I'm already giving her one thing. Um, I don't know if uh, I showed y'all, but I'll show y'all it again. I'm not working on it now. I'm waiting for the yarn to come. I think. Am I waiting on the yarn to get here? Yes, I am. Uh, <laughs> I am. I'm waiting on the yarn to get here. Yes. Come on. You said I miss all my uh, people today. Have you been today? All my people on here. I miss you. All my people on here today. Oh, Bernal, you are so great. We always miss you, buddy. I'm glad you can come in and hang out with us today. That's for sure. Yes. I love it. Listen, we love all y'all. I love that everybody could come and hang out. Yes, he is. Everybody that is here. You said, I would love to make realistic crochet flowers. That's what I'm talking about, Margaret. So you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that right there, I'll show you again. You can see the author and then you can pick it up if you would like to, but it's called The Art. It's called The Art of Crochet Roses, right? And if you look at them, they look so real, family. It's by Natagor Finlayson. Finlayson? Anyway, if you get a chance, it's a real easy read, too. I was going through and flipping through and just seeing how the things are made. And, and she explains a lot of things here. They start from a small row. So if you're a beginner, um, intermediate or advanced, this book is for you. If you are interested in making roses and she has each one, like it's like a progressive type of situation with this book. Um, and the reason why I say it's beginners, because she says it right here. She says the um, first section, number one, is um, a small rose pattern. Think of a Valentine's rose. And then the second one is a long stem. The section two is long stem roses. And this is um, making it a little more, making a little more difficult crochet rose. And then uh, section number three is called the hybrid tea rose. And in that section, you get more of uh, the most beautiful roses of all is the hybrid tea rose. And this is um, this crochet rose is quite tricky, she says. But even if you started the book as a beginner and followed each pattern by this stage, you'll be prepared with newly found skills and techniques that will enable you to shine. So that's why I got this. Um, book. I mean, each, 
it's like going to a rose, a crochet rose workshop. And the first one is called the small rose pattern. And your skill level for that one needs to be that of, it says that of a beginner and it talks about each stitches. It talks about each petal. I'm telling you guys, this is a workbook. Um, this is a crochet. Uh, I would say it's a workbook or a, a workshop. And it talks about, you know, doing the magic ring. So we've talked about magic rings before and um, this will be great. And it tells you what size hook to use. Now, if you are not a fan of little hooks, um, you may not be wanting to do this, but if you can, if you do this and use bigger, um, bigger hooks or whatever, it will come out a little, definitely a little different, but these use the smaller hooks. But what I would say, if you get, let me show you, if you do, if you have problems with the smaller hooks, let me show you what I have. All right. This, and this is going to be one of the ones I'm giving away also. Not this one, but I got one that's not open that I'm giving away once we hit 3,000 subscribers. But it's going to be a major hook giveaway. Let me show you real quick. So it comes with two of these things, right? And these are for, this one is for the bigger hooks. And this one is for the smaller hooks. And it comes with all of the hooks. So they said that this is a... See if I can see it. I can't see that. Oh boy. One point is that one seven five? One point seven five. I mean, when I say smaller hooks, I am not kidding. These are the smaller hooks. One point seven five, one two five. This says she says she's using a one five on that. This is a one nine. Let me see. One five. I know you in here because I seen you before. We friends. We friends, buddy. I know you're in here. Let me show you. That's one two five one. One. Let's see. Come on in the room. I think this is a one five. Is that a one five? I want to say this is a one five. Yes. So this is a small one. Now I know. Don't panic, guys. Look. You stick this hook inside here like so, and you just push them in all the way in. I just push it all the way in. So I get here and I put my hook in here. Yes, it's a 1.5 millimeter hook, but guess what? If you use this, it will really help. It's a nice little uh, ergonomic thing. You can work with it with this type thing. So I will be giving away one of these with all the hooks and all the little pieces parts um, once we hit 3,000 subscribers. You feel me? Okay. Now, because I'm going to take that out. Ow, ow, ow. Come on out. My hands are my hands are uh, a little greasy. Why? Because I have lotion on them. So anyway, this tiny hook fits in here. You have this. You can make. You can you can start getting into that. And with these, these are so these are so helpful, guys. Um, man, family, listen, my lovely Yarny fam. I understand. I understand. Some people are like, I can't crochet with small hooks, but this I believe will solve your problem. These will solve your problem. So I'm giving away a kit like this. So uh, as soon as we hit 3000 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway. Mm hmm. Yes, absolutely. So let's see. You said, um, okay. Hola, como esta? Hello, Maritza. You said, Kelly, I found that book on Amazon. Can you, I please add the link? You can't add the link? Yeah, you can add the link. For sure. For sure. Hello, Barbara Clark. Welcome in. Good to see you. You said, where did you buy those, Kelly? Uh, I really need some of those for my smaller hooks. Oh, it came as a, this came as a whole pack. Um, this is called, uh, 
I don't remember what I bought them so a while ago. Welcome in D yummy Elmo 69 though. Good to see you. I bought these a while ago. Exactly. When did I get these? It came in a, a pack like this. Let me see if I can um, find it. If you know, cause this is helpful. Those little squishy things are helpful. Let me see if I can find them real quick. Um, the greatest happiness in life. That's what that bag says, but it, uh, let's see. Um, crochet hook set with case and grippers, orange and blue grippers. And I will tell you the C word. Let's see who has it, who has them. I don't see it. Hmm. I see everybody has that bag, but I don't see the orange. Hi, Gizmo. Let me see. Nope, that's not it. But yeah, this set is really, I bought two, a set, two sets. I don't see what I'm looking for here. Hmm. I put orange, let me just put case with orange. It's a set. I'll just put with orange and blue and we'll leave it like that and see if what comes up. No, those aren't it. Let me see if they even have them. Hook that. Okay. Let's see. Trying to see if they even have them on Amazon. For some reason, I can't find them. But what I did find was a five piece with grippers. But um, I'm not sure how small they will go to. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking. I don't. Hmm. Wow. Let me see. Orange and blue. With orange. And blue. Something. Nope. Yeah, can't find them, family. So I tell you what. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. I found uh, a set. I don't know. This only fits size two and up. It doesn't fit size one. 1.5 and up. Um, let me just say 1.25 and M and up. Let's see. Yeah. It's, unfortunately, I do not see them. I cannot remember where I got these from. 
I want to say it was a uh, Where did I get those? I I don't know if I got them from um TikTok or if I got them from Instagram. I saw them and I thought that would be such a great gift to give away. So I said, I will keep one for myself and I will give away the other one. And so that's what I'm going to do. So I bought a pack of two. I bought, I mean, two of each, one of each. One for, one to give away, one to hold on to. Let me see. Um, then I have other ones that I have with lights that I'm going to be giving away as well. Uh, yeah. So unfortunately, I can't find the hooks where I got the with the um, little grippy things, but I will be doing a giveaway for those. So enter that giveaway. We will have a good time. We will have a good time for sure. Let me see. All right, family. This has been so fun. Uh, I was, I'm so happy to be able to share the fun stuff that I have and um, the things that I've gotten that I think will help take our crocheting space to a whole new level. So our minds will be blown like that's what will happen on um, thrifty endeavors. Honey, I didn't see you. How you doing? Did, did I say hello? Well, honey, hi. Thrifty endeavors and adventures. You said that's awesome. Well, yeah. Welcome in. I hope you're still here. <laughs> Good to see you. Sorry about that. I was just like, I'm just flowing through, flying through, stopping and going and what in the world. And... All right, family. So let me go ahead and um, yeah. So today is our craft along. So if you want to bring your crafty items up and you want to get jiggy with it, you want to crochet with me today, feel free to do that. We are going to, I'm going to show you what I'm working on. I am still working on this. Shaw. I'm still working on this. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, that's great. She said you have you said um you have Kindle Unlimited and it's free. Good job. Yeah, check it out. You'll see. I mean, reading it is simple, it's really easy. Oh, oh, no worries, Thrifty endeavors and adventures honey it is a pleasure to see you you're never late so don't ever ever think that no 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 you are always on time so i'm going to drop the link so if you want to come up and bring your craft so we can craft along honey let's go let's get jiggy with it so i'm working on this um this is going to a cousin in florida he calls it a cowboy thingy so we're going to make a pressure cowboy thingy for him and I'm going to put that on the card. I'm going to send a card. With it. Here's the cowboy thingy. It was like for future reference. It's a prayer show, buddy. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. No, it's okay. It's okay. He said, the show is beautiful, Kelly. Thank you. Um, oh, that's brilliant, Barbara. Yeah, I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah, isn't that great? I love Kindle. I love Kindle. I use Kindle too. But then sometimes I'll be wanting to hold stuff because I'll get it in Kindle. And then I'll get it. Then I'll go ahead and buy the book because I like to flip through pages. Something wrong with me. Sometimes I like to flip through the pages, family. All right. So um, let me go ahead and drop the link. If you want to come up, feel free to do so. I'm telling you, listen, I think this will take our little flowers to a whole nother level. And I'm going to drop the link. So if you want to come up. You look, look, look at Sandra. She told me I have to smell new books. I hear that. Yeah. I listen, we here for it. Mm -hmm. I like Kindle too. Yeah, Kindle makes it convenient. And like if I want something right now, right now, I gotta have it right now. Then I go get it. Like for some instances, um, like when I want to uh read, and I ain't got time to read it. I do an audible book. I look and see if they have the audible and then I also get the book as well. So I'll do audible and I'll get the book, but I, I, I can't wait. And I love it when the author reads their own book. Oh, wait, that does something for me. I love that. I love when the author reads their own books. Absolutely. So feel free to come on in, come on in. 
Come on up if you'd like. Bring your crafty items and let's get jiggy with it. Whether you crocheting, whether you knitting, whether you loom knitting, whether you latch hooking, it don't matter. Honey, just bring your crafts and let's get jiggy with it. If you diamond painting, that's fine too. If you coloring, that's cool too. Yeah. So we doing it all. We doing it all out here. This is, a, remember, this is a two row repeat. Um, yeah, this is a two row re repeat. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I ain't got nothing against Kindle folks either because I do Kindle as well. I do them all. Listen, I do them all. Wherever there are books to be had, I'm going to get the book, but I'm going to get it on Kindle and I'm going to get it in Audible. It just depends on what it is. It depends, family. It depends. For sure. Listen, welcome in to my brother from another mother. You know him. Y'all know who he is. Hello, Tammy. Hello. Welcome in, buddy. What you working on? I am knitting a coaster. Well, all right, then. Let's go. You doing a coaster? I have a, I actually have enough to show. Oh, let me, let me put you in the big box so we all can see what you got on that hook. All right, let's go. Yes. Awesome. Hey, Gail. Yes, Gail said, hello, Cammie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what we be doing up here. Listen, I love reading, but I also love listening to books. I'll tell you what, I listen to a book. I can crochet faster listening to a book than I can watching a movie because I'm so nosy. I want to see what they're doing in the movie. I, you understand what I'm saying? I'm so nosy. I need to see what y'all doing. Yeah. Hey, Barbara. Now I will play a podcast on TV, right? But I don't have to look at it. Right. So I'll, I'll continue to do my work and, um, uh, and uh, I don't have to look up because they just talking to people. Everybody saying hello to Cammy. Yes. Mm-hmm. So we out here getting jiggy with it. So how you doing, uh, Cammy? You doing well? Yes, I am. Good job. Are y'all? Do y'all have any inclement weather coming through or no? Nah? You good? No, it's just kind of on and off rain again. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It's been crazy, like raining and all the things, you know. It's been like crazy, but this is, this is so cool. I'm excited to uh, do this. So you said, let's see, Gail says, I listen to books because I'm dyslexic. Okay. And you said crocheting with that can be a challenge with, listening to books or watching you mean like watching a movie or something what you mean gail like watching a movie or or watching tv or something because sometimes we do all the things right and we try to you know i try to stay in tune with what i'm working on and so sometimes if i'm Oh, you said that disorder. Oh, crocheting with that can, oh, with dyslexia can be a challenge. I got you. Okay. Thank okay. you, Dawn. Oh, cool, Cammy. It looks really good. Yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. It can be a challenge for sure. Margaret and I literally have our noses in our book. <laughs> That's cool. Some people can can crochet and read at the same time. I that like read a book. Who y'all are y'all are magic. If you could do that, you're amazing. That that don't be me. The only way I can get a book read while crocheting is listening to it. And so I listen to sometimes I listen to crochet. Um, there's some crochet mysteries out there that I listen to. You said, I just went out to put my chickens to bed and one of them sitting in the nest. So now I'm going to have chicks in about four weeks, hopefully. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Congrats, Dozer. Yeah. 
<laughs> you said we do, Sandra. Too funny. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do like it just depends on what I got going on. If I can read or not. Like I got this book I want to read. I got it sitting over here. It's been sitting over here for about a month. I haven't touched it. But I can't find it in um audible, so I'm gonna have to eventually read like a chapter a day or something like that. Mm-hmm. Whoops. 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 So what about you, uh Cammy? Do you uh do you, do you read books or listen to them or both? Why but you... it mm -hmm. but it'll take me ten years to finish one book. Okay, no problem. So do you listen to a book? Yeah, I'll pull some up on YouTube here and there. Yeah. Yeah. That's like me. Um, I listen to podcasts while I'm crocheting. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Gail said, when I was 13, I read my first chapter book. I was so proud. Oh, wow. Okay, come on. Let's go. And Sandra says, I'm just about finished a novel about Vincent Van Gogh by Caroline Kochi. And that baby is over 400 pages. Listen, I hear you. Yes. <laughs> He's like, I was going to buy some next month, but this is easier and cheaper. Cheaper. Oh, you talking about buy some chickens? Some chicks? Is that what you're talking about, uh, Dozer? So, <clears throat> Emma got mad on Sunday. Oh, really? Because my sister brought over the gate that she uses for the, to go upstairs. So she doesn't uh -huh. go upstairs. Yeah. Oh, she didn't like that, huh? Well, you know, it was to keep her from going downstairs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And eventually we come upstairs and she sees Madison. Mm-hmm. And goes, kitty cat. Mm hmm. Then proceeds to chase after her. Mm hmm. The cat, Madison, goes downstairs and then she gets mad at me and starts bawling her eyes out because I scooped her up and pulled her away from the gate because she was trying to get under it to go oh. chase the cat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, they, they got to be stopped. They got to stop themselves before they hurt themselves because they don't know. They do not know. So you then it I smells good too. <laughs> okay, Sandra. <laughs> so then uh -huh. I said, said to her, I said, sounds like I need to FaceTime Mama so so he can see kitty cats mm -hmm. this week. Okay. And I'm like, they can't where I work, they can't run away from you, so they have to see you. Oh. That got her to stop right away, pretty much. Oh. Well, that's cool. That's always good, Cammy. Exactly, Gail. Let's see. Um, you said, yeah, I just gave some away to a co-worker, so I wanted to replenish my flock. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And you said, oh, Gail said always safety first, Cammy, when it comes to little ones, and that is the truth. And they may not understand it right then and may get mad and get an attitude, but they will get their life completely together eventually <laughs> and be all right with it. You, you got to wait. You got to wait so you don't hurt yourself. That is for sure. Let me do this here. There we go. So we can see what we're working on here. See how far we're getting on this. And let's see. But, yep. Yeah, I, I really like working with this yarn. It is so super soft. So you didn't ask me how my reading went on Thursday. How your what? My uh, reading at church on Thursday went. Oh, well, how did it go? It was good. Okay, let's go. That's awesome. And then I went to church Friday. Mm-hmm. So basically, I went to church Sunday, Thursday, Friday. Mm-hmm. Took sun Saturday off and went back Sunday. Oh wow! So you've been you've been pretty busy. Yep, that's awesome, Cammy. And then 
on Sunday, we were up and down and up and down and up and down and singing and praising. Yeah. Okay. That sounds cool. That is, that's awesome. So you guys, you had a great time at church. I, I take it. Yep. Because if then, you would, I'm sure you wouldn't have went that many times. So obviously you had a great time. Right. And, and on Friday, we were blessed with uh, getting to see and hear music from our new uh, director. New music director? Yep. Oh, that's awesome. And man, she hit those organ, uh, low organ notes deep. Mm-hmm. That's cool. And then on Sunday, I got... Um, so the previous uh, music director mm -hmm. actually graduated high school with my sister. Oh, really? And when I first, my neighbor was like, are we saying Michelle Good, Michelle Good? And I'm like, in my head trying to process it, I'm like, where's that name sound familiar? Mm -hmm. And then I went to church with her one day and mm -hmm. I seen her and I'm like, that's it. That's who she is. That's who Michelle Good is, huh? <laughs> and then... Last year we went to a concert, mm -hmm. and right away I go up to her and she's once she gets done talking to this man and answering his questions, she goes, "I know you from somewhere where." Mm -hmm. She goes, "It's pro just like I was." She's like, "It's processing and process of elimination, right?" Right, and I said, "I almost said I'm Morgan's older sister." <laughs> <laughs> but I cut myself. I said, I'm Morgan's older brother. And she goes, that's it. That's how I know you. All right. Cool, 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 Cammy. I think that's great. So now, you know, every time I, you know, if she's there, I make it a point of at least, you know, giving her a one hug, whether it's, you know, when, when, I, when we first come in or before I leave. Oh, for sure. For and sure. I actually, uh, Sunday, I actually went up to her father and I said, now I, you're probably, you're always giving me that look, Mr. Good, like, who are you? But I said, my sister went to school with Michelle and graduated in 2011. Oh, right. Because, you know, they were both in band mm -hmm. and her mom, Michelle's mom was always going to him. So that's how she knows me. Oh, okay. Okay. But her husband was always working or doing other things. So he really, you know, wasn't able to come. Mm hmm Unless at concerts. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. All right. Let's see. Oh, look who's here. T.S. is here. Hey, T.S., welcome in. Yes, you said. And uh, Margaret said, wow, Sandra, that's a lot. He was a fantastic artist. Yes, he was, Van Gogh, for sure. And uh, Dozer says, my husband falls apart when... Harrison throws a fit. I'm just like, yeah, whatever, kid. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Uh huh. All oh, the greetings in the house can't give in to those little ones. That's the truth. Those are. <laughs> and Gail says, that's awesome, Cammy, about you going to church and your readings and stuff and how it went well. Yeah, well done, Mar Margaret says. And TS says, hey, 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 girl, honey, what? Hey, T.S. Yes, welcome. Feel free to hit the thumbs up, family. If you don't, if you haven't had a chance to do so already, please feel free to do so. And I think it was either Christmas or Thanksgiving. Emma was basically tearing apart the shoes. Oh, yeah? And throwing them off. And, of course, my brother-in-law says something. And I'm like, I look at me. Yeah. I'm like... And I and I gave him that look like if if it's bugging you, get up and do something because his mother and I are just sitting there like, oh she's tearing off the, taking the shoes off. Okay. Mm hmm. Where he's and I give him that look like, dude, if it's bugging you, get up and do something about it. But I'm like, eh. and once he saw that we were sitting there, he goes, okay, if they're not doing something, I won't do something. Yeah. But half the time, half the time, I'm like, oh she's doing this. Ah, who cares? Yeah. Little people be busy. Yeah, they be busy.
All right. So it was a great day. I, I left work early today because of the weather. I didn't know what it was going to be. I, I thought about just staying, but I didn't. One thing I did today, I almost got done with writing that pattern. I'm almost done with it. I got 56 more rows to go. Um, the pattern for the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Writing that out has been something. Gail said, I wish I had that, the little one's energy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, they be running around going crazy. <laughs> I know my, my great niece does. She be, she's something else. I'm like, girl, if you don't sit down somewhere, <laughs> she be out here doing all the things, okay? But um, yeah, I'm excited about starting a graph game. I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I think I'm going to do it on days where I'm, I'm going to do them. I'm going to uh, work on it where I don't have to do a whole lot of talking. Like on a Saturday, I work on it on Saturdays. So we can listen to music and, and we can get our work done. Yeah. Miss Dale asked a question to you, um, Dozer. She said, what kind do you have, Dozer? I used to have some, but I can't where I'm living now, unfortunately. Oh, Miss Dale Marie, really? They don't want us to be great with all the things we want to have. I don't appreciate that. I thought about getting a smaller house with a full basement. That's what I want. Because this, this house is big where we live. And I'm like, man, I think me and my husband need a smaller house with just a full basement. We need like a four bedroom or three bedroom with a full basement. The basement can be finished. The, I want the full basement for our, our, our fitness center. Our workout space. That's what I want the full basement for. And storage. But I want. Um, but it is pretty. This house is pretty nice size. It's hard to find. Um, something like what we have. Smaller with a nice size. Master bedroom. I like the, our, the size of our master bedroom, but I don't know where I'm going to find a house like that unless I build one, build another one. And I'm not sure if I'm up for building another house. So yesterday, my dad had a doctor's appointment. Yes. And well, here before that so the pastor of the church said on Sunday you know today I want you to pray for if you have a particular family member in mind pray for said person or mm -hmm. you know pray for your whole family mm -hmm. so I I prayed for my dad for the appointment yesterday mm -hmm. and I would I did a little load of laundry starting at like 740 when my when they left mm-hmm he comes home, he's down there. They come home, he's downstairs. I'm going to get the clothes out of the dryer. Mm -hmm. He goes, I'm like, how's, how'd the appointment go? And he goes, good. He goes, I got my first surgery on Thursday. Oh, wow. Okay. Now his first, now he, he's got cataracts in his eyes. Oh, okay. And his first appointment was in July. Mm-hmm. So basically, he got it moved up three months. Wow. Okay. Yeah, my mom had that surgery. It, it's pretty quick. Yeah, but I'm thinking, the Lord 
heard my prayer, not only made the appointment go good, but knocked up that appointment three months. Oh, so he can go ahead and get it taken care of. Because they're Kelly, they're to the point where he can he doesn't even drive well anymore with it with them. Oh yeah, he got to get that. Yeah, that's for so sure. At least at least this way with at least one eye done, he can he'll be able to drive comfortably. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. After it heals and eyes heal pretty fast. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I remember. Okay, this is gonna sound kind of gross. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. I burnt my eye with a curling iron. Years ago, an emergency squad had to come and get me. I lived by myself at that time. They had to come and get me. I couldn't even see in the emergency squad where I was going. It took me to the hospital, and they got me fixed up. My eye was healed four days later, like nothing happened. And he he's wanted to. He he told me he goes. I mean, he's gonna come grocery shopping on Friday, and I'm thinking, mm -hmm. um. It should, I'm thinking to him, really, he shouldn't be, for, I know he could be driving, but I'm like thinking, firstly, I don't think it would be safe, you know, that short after surgery. Secondly, I don't want him going to the store alone because, you know, I would go, but I hate it. I Wait a minute, hate when, it. when do you think he's going to be healed? I was just talking about my eye, when I burnt my eye. You know, the, 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 the next day, the next day, my my grandma had both of hers done, and when we took her to the second one, mm -hmm. she was she was starting to feel better the next day. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't take long for him to feel better, but yeah. But still, I don't want him going to do all that work. Oh, I see. At the store. Saying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That quick yeah. after surgery. Well, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna he'll figure out what he can do and what he can't do. Don't worry, it ain't he ain't gonna be running around. And, he ain't gonna be you know, around. I'm gonna leave that decision to my mom if she wants to make if he, he can go or not. Oh, absolutely. Hey Janet, Janet says, Kelly, I was gifted a set of pine looms and I love them. They are all handmade. Oh, nice. So you got some knitters loom, knitter looms? Yes. You can make some nice hats and everything with them, scarves, all kind of stuff, blankets. Girl, you could get jiggy with it. I feel that. That's nice. The power of prayer, great news, Cammy. Amen. Yes, yeah, isn't that the truth? Isn't that the truth, Margaret? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Well, it'll be all good, Cammy. I'm excited for your family. And my grandma's cataract surgery, the second, both times we had to go to Traverse City. Oh, okay. Is that far? It, from her, it's an hour east. Okay. Is it far from you? Three and a half, four hours. Oh, okay, yeah. But we yeah. had we drove up knowing uh, we did the second one. My mom's mm -hmm. youngest did the first one, mm -hmm. but the second one was made at four, like six o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. So we be, I we set off the alarm, so I would hear it because my mom and grandma, my grandma couldn't even, wouldn't have even heard it. Period. Oh wow. Okay. But my mom and I are hard sleepers, but I pretty much wake up early when I'm up there. Oh, okay. So I, I was up before the alarm even went off and it was the, the alarm clock was lucky. I figured out how to turn it off. <laughs> Otherwise Thank I would have chucked it across the room. Oh yeah. And so I'm up, wake my mother up, wake my grandma up. We're out the door by three 30. Oh, up, okay, like cool. Four, four fifteen. Oh, okay. Cool. 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 Let's see. We got, yeah. Oh, we got uh, our sister from another mistress coming up to be with us, you guys. Y'all welcome in our sister, Christy Baum. Hey, Christy. Hey. How are you? What's going on? Good. How are you guys? Good. Doing great. What's happening? Well, I just thought I'd stop in. I uh, finally got me a little place that I can come to out in my backyard, my little she shed. And I oh. don't worry about TV or Anybody bothering me? Wow, that's a blessing. You got a she shed. Oh, oh, I'm gonna see what you got. Let's see if we can. Um, oh, yeah. I know it's a little laggy. It's a little bit laggy, but that's all right, Christy Bomb. I'm gonna make you big, but you gotta show us what you got on that hook, girl. We got to see it. 
All right, let me know when you're ready. Okay. All right, here we go. Ooh, look how pretty that is. I love it. Oh, uh, I love it. What I yarn is like that? Hobby Lobby. I can't remember the name of it. Well, it's beautiful. I, I'll have to find it and let you know. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. It's so beautiful. That is a beautiful shawl. That yarn is so pretty. Thank you. That is such colors. a beautiful shawl. Mm -hmm. The colors are amazing. I love how they flow together. Girl, you did that. You hear me? Mm-hmm. This is the okay, but I don't have the wrapper with me out here. So. That's okay. Don't worry. No Did worries. Get to lagging too bad. Holler at me. Okay. So this was taken. Uh, ran this was taken on Easter. Let me see the little person. Oh, look oh, at her. So Oops. Hang on. Like I pressed the wrong button. Okay, I'm ready. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Oh, she's a cutie. Exactly what she said. <laughs> and then I and then I got And then we did a little little Easter egg hunt. There's the, there's the other one. Oh, okay. Well, she's no. a cutie. Oh yeah, she climbed right upon the table, right on that, right upon that chair. Like, hello, I'm sitting she here. Be, she be out here doing the things, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Margaret Oaday said, "Hi, Christy. I love that you have a she shed. I do too." Mm-hmm. And let's see, very nice collection. I had to look up Well Summers just now. Don't think I've heard of those great looking chickens. Oh, you talking? Oh, you talking to dozers <laughs> for sure? She said, "Oh, that's beautiful, Christy. So neat." Thank and you. Barbara said, "That is pretty, Christy. Yes." Oh, is that you, Thrifty? Yeah, is that you? That's me. So. All right. There she is. A couple of other channels that I've been going to, and one of them is doing a collaboration for gardening stuff. And I thought, I think I want to try doing that. So I thought, well, I really don't want to use Christy Balm for that. And so I was yeah. talking to my family, and they said, just do that one. And I was like, okay, sounds good. <laughs> so all right, yeah, you good. How you doing, Lauren? Lauren's here, everybody. Hey, Lauren. Welcome in. Yeah, listen, we look. It's a lot of things we can get into out here in these YouTube streets. That's for sure. Okay, I got to um, definitely got to um, make sure I'm part of that channel as well. That would be Hang cool. Hang on. I'll drop it. I have three videos. <laughs> Or four videos. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, if anybody gets a chance, feel free to follow Thrifty Endeavors and C Adventures. Yes, we want to support our family members out here. For sure. Make sure we're part of everybody's space, for sure. Mm hmm Yep. I done. Thank you, Cammy. Cammy okay. just dropped your link. You're welcome. For, for sure. And I'm going to follow it. I just, I just threw yarn in your window, Christy. Thank you very much. You're I'm gonna welcome. The, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go there as well. Whoop.
Here we go. Well, I have a lot to learn with uh, putting content on the channel and all that. So you guys be patient with me. <laughs> oh, no You're worries. welcome, Margaret. We are, we are family now over there. All right. Oh boy. I just seen two po I just seen two Zandar go that way with their siren their flashers on but no sirens. Oh, okay. They they on a mission sound like Mm -hmm. Somebody's on a mission somewhere. And so, you know, I forgot to tell you, so it's seeing my dad's got his eyeball surgery on Tuesday on Thursday. I told him when he told me, I said, I'll I'll go um as soon as I go upstairs, I'll go ahead and cancel mm -hmm. Thursday. Oh, okay. Let's see one and two. This is so cool to hang out with family, our Yarny family, and make some wonderful Yarny things. Two, three. I hope our weather is, is chilling out. I don't know right now. It looks like we're good. It's 62 degrees right now. Um, so Lucky. I was scared that we were going to have... Oh, we got three weather alerts. Oh, boy. Let's see what's going on right now. What's happening right now, though? My husband's going in and out, so he's kind of following the weather because we were we we're going to have a lot going on. I had There's a like channel. I was mm -hmm. watching this a little while ago, and um, they were having tornado warnings. And it's not—he's not too far from you. Kosha yeah. Town. Who? It's Koshatan. C H O. Oh, Koshakton. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know uh, you. You were so close. You did that, though, girl. You was right there. <laughs> you was right there. You good? No worries. <laughs> I don't feel bad because I hear the way people uh, pronounce some of the towns in Oklahoma. So <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Like you was you was close though. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You was close, girl. You was right there. <laughs> But anyway, you they were wrong. having warnings over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, Dozer. She says, I have to go get little mister in the bath. Have a great night, everyone. You have a blessed night, too, Bye. Dozer. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm getting ready. To, I'm going to have to get ready to go, too. You said... She said, I was just watching the new glucose revolution video, then saw you lot were live here. My kid isn't letting me get a, a restful sleep. So I'm awake and crocheting. Oh, wow. So you busy, Lauren. Wow. Okay. So um, Margaret threw some uh, yarn in your window, uh, Christy. Thank you, Margaret. Yeah. So did, yeah, we, are, yeah, we did for sure. We, okay, are, Kelly. Oh, Kelly, we're there. Oh, Say yes. that name. Oh, Salt. That's Marie. <laughs> yep. It's that's what? Chris, Sue St. Marie. It's what? Sue St. <laughs> Marie. Put that back up there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what it was. Ain't nobody. <laughs> so the L and the T is silent? Yeah. That's what you use them for. <laughs> They're for. <laughs> Who put them there? <laughs> that, see, that's what confuses people. You can't yeah. do stuff like that. You can't do stuff like that. Let me know. I mean, I can understand that the J is silent. The H is silent. The, but the L and the T are <laughs> silent? I've never heard of that it's, before. It's French. Oh, all righty then. Great. <laughs> So we have the Washita Mountains, and it's spelled O U at the front, and 
Then we have the Washita River, and it's spelled W A S H I T A. <laughs> and it's like they're the same word. Why can't you spell them the same? <laughs> Who does that? And then what about what is it? What is Ke it, Kim? Kiwaden. Kiwaden. Okay, that makes sense. It'd be different if it was like if uh, if you was gonna tell me all the letters were silent, the W ain't got no the W and the D is silent. I'd have been mad. So <laughs> like, what, now we, get, what are we doing out here? Uh, let's this. see. Hold this, on. Uh, hmm? Yep. What were you gonna say? So we have Mackinac City uh -huh. and Mackinac Island. Okay. Mackinac City is N A C and Mackinac Island is N A W. But they're both pronounced Mackinac. I'm so mad at them for doing that. <laughs> Who does that? Who really does that? That is just <laughs> insane. I cannot. Gail says, Christy, my daughter had a friend in that town. It's an old town. Oh, okay. Yes. And Sandra says, hi, Christy. Nice to see a face with you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You. And right. you said, say this one, Kelly. Mon Moncton. Moncton. Did Moncton. I say that? Moncton. Moncton. Girl, help me, D. D, where you at? <laughs> then we have another city. On Tanagan. With your name, Christy. Okay. Oh, I said it right? You say yes, that is right. So I ain't too far off. Well, All thank right. God. Well, thank the most high in heaven. I got one right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, they be, listen, they be naming stuff. You be like, what in the ham sandwich is that really supposed to be? Who does that? No, I said it wrong. Antonag Antonagon. 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 Okay. We have some weird names in Michigan. That's not bad. As long as ain't nothing silent in there, I'm willing to try it. But when there's silent word letters in words that don't make no sense, I'll try it. Yeah. You see, I don't think many people could pronounce where I'm I come from. Is Nanny 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 Mo Nanny Mo what Nanny Mo Girl Nanny Mo Nanny Mo did I that's what I was help saying. me Sandra help me what is it you said it was well, it used to be spelled Moncton somewhere down the road it changed to Moncton what girl people be doing too much out here. With some of that stuff. It's like, leave this alone. It was fine. We knew how to pronounce it with the K. <laughs> Why y'all change it to a C? We knew how to work that. You confuse it, people. Let's see, where am I? Okay. Hello, good evening. Good evening, uh, Miss Ophelia. Good to see you. And um, Lauren says, we have a village locally called Ilkiston. And it gets called Ilsa. What? I think if, okay, somebody is either being lazy or something. They just saying it real fast and they made the case silent. Who does that? Oh my goodness. Sandra said, almost Kelly, you said it like Nanny Mo. You say it like Nanny Mo. Oh, wait a minute. Is the A silent? That, that's the stuff I'm talking about right there, Sandra. Girl, that, it, it's that part. They be silencing letters as if they, I mean, that's just disrespectful. I, Okay, never mind. But that's how they do stuff, I guess, out here. Where people and then be living. I've been trying it. Mm -hmm. On the 
on my side of the state, on the Lake Huron side, I'm going to spell it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to say it. Okay. Because there's the east part and then the city. So it's T A W A S. Say again. T A W A S. Okay. Tawas. Okay. That, that makes sense. But everybody just says it so fast. We say Tawas. I can understand it. Like we have a place called, I don't even know which way to say it right. It's either Lancaster or Lancaster. I don't know. Take your pick. Everybody know where it is, but we call it Lancaster or Lancaster. And I guess you can tell what side of town you live on on whether you say it right or not. Like we got a street called Tussing, but some people call it Tussing. So I'm like, but it's spelled T-U-S-S-I-N-G. Tuss. So if it's two, it needs to be something else going on there. I don't know. I don't know. And then where my gram grandma used to live, basically think of Alaska, mm -hmm. but with a K. In front, Kel Casca. Okay, Teddy, stop. Okay, I hear you. Interesting is all I can say. Yeah, we we've Nan got some pretty weird Nanimo? cities in here. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, why they do that to us, family? My head hurt. Tapas, not to what? Ta to Tawas. Tawas. Okay. And then we got Ascoda. Which is fairly easy. Mm -hmm. Gaylor, Gaylord, Grayling, Let's Teddy, see, uh, that. Traverse City, mm -hmm. which happens to be the cherry capital of the world. Okay. And well, that's um, cool. Dojoac. There's a, I'm not even going to spell it, but people say it differently. I guess depending on where they were. Yeah, some are yep. Native American names. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's all they were, actually. And you some... said, sorry, Kelly, I'm laughing at you. That's okay. Listen, I know I be jacking stuff up, girl, honey, child. I just be wondering why people, why they do the things they do with letters. And half I'm of like, ours. Don't put them in there if you don't need them. It's all I say. <laughs> if you don't need it, don't put it. But they put be putting them in there. Like, don't we tell have, me the J is silent and it's sitting right there. <laughs> you feel me? Some of ours are French. and mm -hmm. Like, Sault Ste. Marie is French. Yeah. And then I think half are um, Native American. Yeah. We have a lot. Mine is first. You said, you, you said what, uh, Christy? We have a lot of towns around us that are Native American. Yeah. Mine is a First Nations name. Oh, okay, cool. That is cool, 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 to tell you the truth. Well, family, I'm going to let y'all go. We're going to have to get ready to close it down. I got to get ready to go. Um, oh, good. I do have water right here. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for having me up. Thanks for coming up and hanging with us today. I'm excited that you're here. So that blessed hopefully, me today. Hopefully I can do this more often. <laughs> and I love your uh, your she shed. At least you got a she shed, child. I love to have one. Well, I'm not quite finished with it yet, but I told my husband, I said, I'm going out and visit for a little bit. Oh, <laughs> uh, he was probably like, okay. Well, he went, he has a radio room. He does. GMRS and CB radios. So he went to his shed and I came to my shed. <laughs> Wait a minute. So are y'all sheds connected or just beside each other? No, no. We have a chicken pen between us. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a chickens, your shed and his shed on the other side of the chickens. That is yeah. great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I love it. That sounds great. I'll have more pictures and stuff eventually on my channel. So Okay. Well, thanks for sharing and thanks for coming up here and being with us today. I really do appreciate you. And uh, listen, 
Uh, Tia says, one of these days I might get to actually sit and watch your stream. Oh, that's okay. TSA, I appreciate you coming on in. Just stopping through. I do. You said, Nay, what? Nanny Mo is what is I mean? Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Absolutely Hi, what you said, Sandra. Listen, y'all stay blessed. Good night. Appreciate Bye. you. Appreciate you. Hey there, um, one virtuous woman. Blessings to you. I'm getting head on out. Um, I need your address, uh, one virtuous woman. Please uh, email me your address. Thank you. All right. Please, please, please. And let's see a first name, nation's name. Oh, okay. Bye, y'all. Blessings, everyone. All right. And everybody stay encouraged. Love all of y'all. Y'all are amazing. And um, I will see you guys back out here. If you want to visit me on Prayer Shawls uh, with Purpose, feel free to do that on Thursday at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then I'll be back out here on Saturday, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, where we will be lounging, chilling, working on crafts. So feel free to stop through there as well, okay? Hugs and love to you all. And um, until next time. Blessings, everybody. Keep crafting, keep stitching, keep crocheting. Do all the crafting you wanna, but we will be back out here. All right, next time. All right, love y'all. Hugs and love. Until next time, fam. Bye.